Hello there guys, today I'm going to be introducing you to a game by the name of The Walking Dead Season 1. It's a point and click adventure game from Telltale, and it's based on the zombie comic book series, which is probably even more famous now for the, its conversion to the TV series The Walking Dead. I love that series, and I love this game. You can tell right away, looking at it, that as well as being uh, based on the comic book, it also has its art style, and it looks pretty great. Now, the game was released episodically. It was released periodically over time in different episodes, but the way I played it was almost all in one sitting, like in, in two different sittings, I sat down and played this game as if it was one thing. That's because the entire first season is available now, it has five episodes, and to tell you the truth, I really, really enjoyed all five of them. I didn't so much enjoy the gameplay, I mean, it was okay, and I'm sure fans of older point-and-click adventure games will love it, because it is a good-looking game that follows that style. However, I'm not too into that genre, and I can't appreciate it to its fullest. Most of the game part of the game is done in puzzles, using the right objects in the right place to escape tricky situations. Now this can be really good in some places and not as good in others, but again as someone that's not a puzzle fanatic I can't get the full appreciation, but what I do appreciate is that the puzzles were generally simple. Now that's actually something that I can understand if it turns people off because they want more complex puzzles to work through in their heads. So I'm going to let you decide for yourself on that one. But it's not all puzzles, there's also some more action-y scenes, either combat or running away or something along those lines. And it's done in a few different ways. There's a few scenes where you'll have to actually go into first person mode and shoot some zombies. There's a few of those in the game. What I see more is just some QTEs, where you'll spam Q over and over again in order to get something off you or pry something open. So the combat isn't exactly on the same level as maybe a more action-oriented game, but it can still be extremely tense, mostly due in part to the whole situation you're in, the environment you're in, and the zombies. Now, the game actually has two different modes, GUI kind of modes you can change when you start the game. You can either play in the normal mode where you have these uh, bubbles showing you what you can click in the environment, as well as a text over your head that tells you different things about your choices. There's also a more minimalistic mode where you'll have to look for yourself in the environment to find different objects and what you find what you'll need to progress. So no bubbles. Now the thing about that is it would be really nice to have something in between. I would really like personally to have those bubbles showing me what I need to click because I'm not a good puzzle solver. I'm not good at finding details in an environment. However, I would like that, but I don't want the whole message in the top right corner telling me so-and-so will remember that you said that. I don't need that, I can figure out the dialogue stuff for myself. However, that is a minor complaint, and having touched on the gameplay, that isn't really what the game will be known for in the future, I am sure. It's the story. The Walking Dead tells an interesting story of survival. You play the game as Lee Everett, an escaped criminal. You're taking care of this little girl you find by the name of Clementine, and a lot of the game is centered around that. In a very Walking Dead style, you will find and join a group. Your group goes through a lot, having both internal and external conflicts. And spoilers, some people are gonna die. You may even have an influence on who will die. The thing is though, the chances of you influencing who will die are not nearly as big as the chances of you influencing when. While before every chapter you'll get a message saying that you will influence the game by your choices, in the end it's a linear game. Everyone actually gets the same ending, but the way you get to that ending changes drastically. The game does do a remarkable job of tricking you into thinking you make a difference. 
Its dialogue system has you making extremely hard choices. You always have the option of staying silent, but The Walking Dead can make you feel guilty even for that. The game has you deal with all kinds of crazy situations, do terrible things to survive, and bring out some big emotions. It's not perfect, but it's an amazing experience that I'll recommend to anyone. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.